Well, good day. Today we're going to make a tunnel game where this little cat's going to run through this tunnel, but he's going to run into some obstacles along the way. So we click the, click the green flag, and the little cat can move. Yeah, he's looking, moving all around. You see him. But he's going to run into some, some obstacles, like these little obstacles are moving back and forth. And this one spins around and around. And so the cat has to not touch the edge. If he touches the edge, oh no, game over. So it's going to be a great game. He's going to start over here, and you're going to make your own tunnels. And he's going to have to avoid this moving obstacle and this spinning obstacle and this moving obstacle. So let me show you how I made this thing. Well, here I am on the create window, and I'm going to make a series of uh, four more sprites. I got a cat sprite. I'm going to use a cat. But I'm going to make four more sprites, and one of them is going to be the tunnel. So I'm going to make sprites. I'm not going to change the backdrop down here. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to make a new sprite. So make a new sprite. And over here, I'm just going to get the paint bucket. And I'm going to choose a dark brown color. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move that up a little bit. So I'm just going to choose a dark brown color. I got the bucket, and I just fill in the whole thing. So here's my gigantic sprite, and all it is is one big giant brown box. Now I'm going to get the eraser. I'm going to take this eraser and make the eraser kind of big, about maybe like this big. And then I'm just going to start over here, and I'm going to just start erasing stuff. I'm going to erase this, and look, I'm making a tunnel now. I do like this, and maybe he goes like this, and maybe he goes up, and maybe he goes back, and then he goes like that. There, this is going to be my sprite. So now that I've made my sprite, I'm going to have to take this sprite and try to fill up the whole stage with it. And it should fit just about perfectly, right about there. I think that's a pretty good spot. Okay, so now we're going to make some obstacles for this cat. I think we'll make that spinning bar. So I'm going to create a new sprite right here, and I'm going to draw a box, a filled-in box. It's going to be the same color as the outside. You want to sort of draw your box close to the center of the palette here, about like this. That looks pretty good to me. Then I'll click up here on Sprite, I mean on Scripts, and here it is, and I'm going to put it right about here. I think this is going to be a good spot. And then we're going to get this thing to turn round and round. Okay, so you get this thing to spin around by going up to scripts. Let me click on, no. And then I don't think you can see that very well. But I'm on scripts. And we're going to start with an event. When you click the green flag, then I want you to go to where you are. So motion is go to this spot right here. Then I want it to spin around. So I'll do that forever. It's going to go forever. And it's going to motion. And it's going to turn 15 degrees to the right. Let's just see what happens. And there it is, going round and round. Mm, I think I can move it down a little bit and make it go a little slower. So I'm going to move it down a little bit. So I'll throw away that part. And I think it should go down a little bit more, maybe about like that. And so that means it's right here. Let's move it up. And let's get it to wait. We'll get it to wait a little bit because it's going really fast. Instead of one second, I'm going to make it 0.5. That's half a second. And we'll give that a click. Then it spins round and round. Now let's make another barrier that runs across here. It'll shoot in, it'll shoot out. So we're going to make a new sprite, and it's going to be the same color. It's going to be a bar. It's going to be a filled-in bar. This one's going to be kind of long, so I'll put it about like this. And then I'll go over to Sprites, over to Scripts. I don't know why I keep saying Sprites. I'm going to move it like right about here and I'm going to take this bar and it's going to slide over here it's going to block the way and then it's going to slide back over here and it's going to slide back over here and that's what's going to be my secret way so I'm going to put it right here can you barely see the edge right there now let's get this obstacle to glide over so I go to events when the flag is clicked I want it to go to where it is so it is right here at 196 and 73 and then I want it to glide. So I want it to go forever, to go back and forth, back and forth. So I'm going to make it wait maybe about half a second like I did before. Then I'm going to have it some motion. It's going to do this one glide. Glide means just slide over. So right now it's at X196, and I want it to go to the left. I won't, don't want the Y to change. The Y is going to stay the same, but I'm going to have it glide over to, I don't know, 196 maybe. Let's make it go to 100 and see what happens. So only the X is going to change. It's going to start at 196, and then it's going to glide over to 100. So we'll give it a click. And there it 
Slid over, but it didn't go back yet. That's fine. So it's got to go a little bit more. So we'll get it to glide a little bit more, and maybe we'll go all the way to all the way to five, maybe. Let's see if that works. We'll say, and we'll get it to go. And sure enough, it goes all the way. That's pretty good. Now we're going to have it wait there. It's going to go all the way, and then wait for about a half a second again. Then I want it to glide all the way back. So I'm going to have it glide, and it's going to glide back to where it was. It was at 196, so I'm going to make it go back to 196. Let's watch it go. So it glides across, and then it comes back. And then it glides across, and then it comes back. Then it glides across. Hey, that looking pretty good. Okay, here's when I'm back at my prototype, and I just wanted to remind you how the cat moves. We know that the cat can move up or down, left or right, and we saw that before. So I just wanted to show this to you. Look it over. I'll slide it up so you can sort of see what it is. Okay, so up, down, left and right, and then look at this. If it's touching the color, then, uh-oh, game is over and go back to where you were. Back to X, back to Y. I also added this yellow at the end to say you won. If you make it all the way to the yellow, then set the X and the Y back to the beginning. That's what this is. And stop everything. So that's about all there is to it. Give it a try.